Hey guys, it's Rebecca. I hope you guys like that new intro that I did. I know it's not much, it's temporary. Today I'm gonna come at you guys with a brand new video and this I'm going to be talking about my high school experience because I graduated about a month ago and I just think that this video can be helpful to anybody who's going into high school, who's in high school now, who you know kind of wants what to expect and this is just my opinion so everyone's gonna have different opinions and views on high school but this is just mine I just want to apologize right now if you hear any background noise any kids yelling or screaming it is so annoying but my neighbors are like swimming and they're just so loud not trying to start a fight today anyways let's go on to the video so basically I've written down one of like most of my key points from freshman to senior year and I'm basically just gonna break it down and talk about my experience so let's start with freshman year it was to say the least my least favorite year it was just really hard because I was just adjusting from going to middle school and going to high school and it's not really that it's hard but I didn't really have many classes or lunch with a lot of the friends that I wanted to have lunch and classes with and just because of that it just made it like a little more harder than I wanted it to be because it's always good it's always good to have that backbone, that friend that, oh, it's okay if I have, I don't have nobody in this class because I have that one friend that I know. And I didn't really have that. I just made it harder to adjust because I was basically alone. It was the most confusing year for me. I was dealing with a lot, a lot of um, my depression and a lot of just losing friends and, you know, trying to grow, but also I was so young and i'm still so young but i was so young that it was just such a vulnerable i was in a vulnerable state vulnerable state okay oh my god these people are so loud my god. anyways also i noticed that a lot of people my freshman year were really judgmental and you know like i said everybody experiences it differently but for me i had this one specific english class and i felt like everybody was judging me it was just such a confusing and lonely time and i feel like a lot of the kids my freshman year in my english class really took advantage of that just the way that i saw it just the way that i experienced it besides inside of school the outside of school was actually pretty great i had a lot of more freedom Though I didn't have classes with the particular friends that I always hung out with outside of school, we had such a strong bond and we lived really close to each other. It was actually like a triangle and like we all lived really close so we were all able to always hang out and it was honestly, it would have been the worst year of my life if it wasn't for them because they really made it all come together and we had such a good time outside of school. Outside, it was really great and it was thanks to them. If I could give any advice, from to like going into your freshman year it would be to get involved get into a club get into a sport whatever it may be do something because being more involved in your school and getting to know more people will make it much more easier for you to adjust and to you know start some ground on the next couple of years because you're gonna be there for four years so might as well you know be some friends see what you like see what you don't like just get involved basically so now moving on to sophomore year. It was my favorite year. I love sophomore year. It was, to me, in my perspective, it was the easiest year. I had the best grades that year. I made a lot of new friends. I also met my current boyfriend um, that year as well. There wasn't so much testing that year and I feel like that year was the year that I had less testing. It could have been freshman year too, but that year I feel like we had less testing. Also, it was the year that I joined Metricals. And Metricals is an advanced choir that you have to audition for to get in. And that was the year that I joined it. I was trying to get into it my freshman year, but there was no space, supposedly. But anyways, that was the year I joined it, and I'm so happy that I did. I loved it. I loved every inch of it not only did i have good grades but i was also in this 
club called CSF that year. It's basically California's uh, student, no, California, California, what? What is it? Oh, California Scholarship Foundation, something like that. You know, basically it's to give you money and you have to raise the money, but it was like that. And I was only in it that year because you have to have basically C and hires in all your classes, which is not that hard, but I suck at math like a lot. And because I failed math my junior and senior year, why I wasn't in it anymore. Yeah, I also got to go to a lot of school events that year. I went to Sadie, I also went to homecoming. So that was like really fun. And I was just really getting more into like, into my school. I was getting more involved, I guess you could say. Moving on to junior year. It was a good year, but it also was the hardest year. And I mean that like education wise, like freshman year was just hard because I, I didn't like it. But junior year was hard because we were testing and it felt like we were testing all the time. Like it was like, okay, we had this test and then we moved on to another test. And it wasn't like middle school. It wasn't like where you prepare or like where they tell you ahead of time it was more like oh you're gonna get tested and we're doing it now and it was like oh okay so it was just a lot a lot of testing i just remember always testing i also took my first ap class that year honestly i recommend taking ap classes i recommend taking an ap class at least by your junior year definitely try to take an honors class at least by your sophomore year because I just feel like, I just think it'll be really good for you academically. I never had honors classes, I just went straight to AP my junior year, but I definitely wish I would have taken at least an honors class at least my sophomore year. And if you're going to take an AP class, don't take it because you feel like you need to, take it because you want that class. If you're really good at art, take an AP art. If you're really good at writing and you're really good at English, take AP English. Take classes that you know you're going to enjoy because then all that work won't really like go onto your shoulders and it won't be such a negative thing. There was more stress on me my junior year just because I was really nervous about failing any classes. However, it was easy to pass most of the classes because a lot of the testing that we took weren't affecting our grade it was just more like the district wanted to know how we were doing on this subject and this subject so yeah moving on to senior year it was okay yeah i feel like senior year is very overhyped like a lot of the activities that they talk about throughout the whole year that you're gonna do you don't really get to do much of those until your second semester so first semester is just full of stress about college application, FAFSA, paying so many things, senior packages, getting to know what you're gonna do, picking a career. It was just a lot of that kind of stress. It's not hard. As long as you keep up with your work just like you would all four years, it's not hard. It really isn't just do all your work, turn it on time because you don't want points to be docked because you turn it in late. Also it is less stressful because you do do less work but at the same time it's just stressful because of the college applications and everything but the actual work inside the classes is not that bad prom let's talk about prom prom was fun but i personally think that the amount that is wasted towards prom is not the amount that prom deserves. What I mean by that is, I don't think that a girl should waste almost a thousand dollars on hair, shoes, makeup, dress. Like, I feel like once it's over with and you recognize how much money you spent on actually just the outfit, the makeup, the hair, you just kind of feel like, oh wow, like that was a lot to spend for only like five hours, you know? That's just my opinion. I feel like if I knew ahead of time how I would have felt about prom at the end, I would have just not been so stressed about it and not wasted so much money. I feel like that's the main thing, just not to waste so much money 
because I just don't think wasting that much money is worth it. Prom is worth it. Definitely go to prom. But the amount of money that people spend on prom, I don't think it's worth it. If you're watching this and you're a junior, you're a sophomore, you're a freshman, you're in middle school and you're about to go to high school, whatever it is, save up money. Because senior year is so expensive. Like, I knew it was expensive, but I wasn't prepared for the amount of money that I would have to spend that year. It was as if every time I would get a penny or a dollar or five dollars in my pocket, it was like non-existent. It was gone in a flash. I never had money that year. I never was able to really buy myself anything because every ounce of money that I had gotten went straight to school. And again, that can be it can be even more expensive if you are involved in something like I was involved in choir. I had to pay my fees. I had to pay for, you know, cleaning fees, all that stuff. Really do try to get involved. A lot of my senior activities were canceled because a lot of kids didn't want to get involved, which is so upsetting, but it's fine. Back to prom. I was actually in prom court. So that was a lot of fun. I loved it. I am so happy that I decided to put myself out there. And that brings me to my next topic. Put yourself out there. I know it can be overwhelming or scary because you never know how people are going to treat you or how it's going to be, but putting myself out there was the best decision I ever made throughout all my four years. And I'm so happy and grateful that I was able to do that my senior year. Because if it wasn't for prom court, I feel like my senior year would have just been like, you know, and I'm not saying you have to be in prom court. You know, I never thought I was going to make it. I'm just saying be involved. I actually have a clip from the last activity we did before prom, which is the, it was like a water slide, but it wasn't a water slide because instead of water, it was with, it was mixed with anchovies, ketchup, mustard, um, flour, water, nacho sauce, everything. It was disgusting, but I actually have a clip from that, so let me just roll it No. That's... yeah, and it was disgusting, and it smelled so bad, and I almost threw up, but I didn't think of... I didn't even care about winning, I just wanted to be on court, and I'm so happy that I was able to do that graduating i always remember hearing people saying like i don't care if i walk or not as long as i get my diploma but honestly walking was amazing i mean walking into a stadium of a bunch of people screaming and you like searching for your family is just so i don't even know how to explain that feeling it was just so exciting and it was nerve-wracking but it was like i wasn't even nervous i was just so excited to walk up and when I finally did walk up, it was like a blur. It was so quick, it was just... <sighs> I think the best part was actually turning the tassel because that just makes it so much more official. And then my advice on graduation is just be happy, enjoy it, listen to what the people are telling you because they really are just trying to make it such a great day I'm trying to make it organized so everything goes smoothly and so there are no bumps in the road so it can go quicker and so you can go eat with your family be early to all your practices especially if you want a good seat it depends on your school really in my school we were able to pick where we wanted to sit so if you know that your school gives that same opportunity make sure you go early so you can choose your seat all right guys that was it for today's video that is my basically my perspective of high school but you know somewhat my high school experience yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed i really hope this was helpful to anybody who is in high school or going to high school if you guys have any requests on what you would want me to talk about or what you would want me to do make sure you comment that below so that is all for today guys don't forget to subscribe comment like share and if you guys want to make sure that you guys are able to see all my next videos don't forget to click that little bell button so you guys are always notified when i upload a new video my next video will be soon thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye